Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now September 25th of 2023, and given that Disney and Bob Iger are really going through a phase of desperation right now and damage control, not just for everything related to the Snow White live action remake, but also to the Marvel Cinematic Universe with the upcoming The Marvels film, as well as a lot of other elements that will be announced, by the way, at the last earnings call for Disney, which, by the way, will take place in the first week of November. We'll be covering every single angle about that in the, in the, of course, next couple of weeks. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into the overall subject. Now, we know that Everything about Snow White so far has been a disaster, right? We know that Bob Iger is not helping. We know that the current re-edits of the film are not going to help anything at all either. Mark Webb has been going on a temper tantrum about the backlash. We also, of course, covered how this movie in and of itself diverts from the source material so much to the point where it alienates the 1937 original. It doesn't even feel like Snow White, and I'm sure that you guys saw the Snow White leaked images of the Seven Dwarfs. There's actually a video, believe it or not. It's not quite as out there as the images are, so you have to kind of dig to find it, but it is there, and you know I'll probably post that up on my Twitter later so that you guys can check it out. But what's interesting about all of this is that there's a lot of things happening with the structure of the film right now, specifically surrounding the ending of the movie, which, by the way, I think is going to come across as a deal breaker for anybody that goes ahead and sees this film. Anybody that, anybody that takes that challenge, if you will. So with Snow White 24 going through many issues with, da with the damage control being done by Disney, one major development has to do with the ending scene of Snow White that is now being developed by director Mark Webb and the editors. Now, one major sequence that is now finalized for the ending involves the new death of the Evil Queen, as Disney is using past shot footage back from June of 2022 to insert into a new ending for the film. Now, this version of the Queen's death involves Snow White, a moment in which Snow White uses the staff-like weapon that was created by the magical creatures that holds a magical gem at the end that holds the ability to drain life essence. This is when Snow White reportedly aims it at a weak point of the Evil Queen, where it reverts her spell of appearing like a witch slash the old hag, and she slowly turns back into the traditional Evil Queen as Gal Gadot's appearance without the makeup. The scene progresses where her face begins to melt in pure Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark fashion and falls off the edge of a cliff. This is the new altered ending sequence where before she actually fell into a grave pit. Now guys, let me just stop here for one moment before I get to the more revealing aspects of this. Now, I think that what they should do is to keep the traditional shot where she just flat out falls off the edge of a cliff on her own and a big boulder falls on top of her. That's basically what happens off camera and they did shoot that back in, I would say it was like right around July of 2022, right around when they were wrapping filming, they shot extra footage. So there's a lot of alterations of the ending sequence of this movie that they're kind of experimenting with. And this is the one that they're dead center on right now. This is the one that they want to keep in the current cut of the movie. A staff-like weapon with a gem on it. That sounds ridiculous, to be honest. I don't know what this is. Is this Lord of the Rings? Is this something out of some kind of mythology movie getting thrown into Snow White? I have no idea. It just sounds like they don't know what they're doing and they're just throwing things at the wall to see what sticks. But here's the other problem with this is that seemingly they are copying a moment from Raiders of the Lost Ark. We have a moment where, you know, her face begins to melt down to the bone, mind you. Uh, it's said to have been a practical effect that was done, not just, of course, for the CGI transitional scene that goes to practical effects, but they actually created a dummy for the Evil Queen. We talked about that lightly about three weeks ago. You guys may recall we talked about how a dummy was used on set of the Evil Queen and that most likely is working in relation to the practical effect of melting the face. So here's the other problem with this is that 
This is where things begin to get very cringy and cringeworthy for the magical creatures. And we already talked about the magical creatures. These are not like your traditional seven dwarfs. They range in different heights, different genders, ethnicities, you know, the whole nine yards, so to speak. So Disney reportedly shot six different alterations of the ending, one of which is the true traditional ending. The sequence then progresses to a point where Snow White and Jonathan, who is the supposed new love interest, if you even want to call him that, uh, they begin to sing a song. The song is said to be a cringy series of lyrics where Jonathan and Snow White are holding hands with the magical creatures and dancing around in a circle around a campfire celebrating the evil queen's death. The song is said to be a hip-hop-esque music style, or song, similar to the Scuttlebutt song from the Little Mermaid movie. However, this is not to be mixed up with the Hi Ho song remix. It is something else entirely new now, this time around, at the second part of the Hi Ho song was actually deleted from the ending. Now guys, we talked about this like a week ago. There was supposed to be a second part of the Hi Ho remix song, thrown into the ending and instead they are using a different song entirely now this is an original piece that we've never heard before uh and i think that's why disney is choosing this they think it's going to lessen the backlash i don't believe so i think it's going to be just as you know ear piercing as the scuttlebutt song from the little mermaid and by the way i always like to throw up a little challenge every now and again in these posts if you guys want to take up the challenge to go ahead and check out that Scuttlebutt song, be my guest. You can X this video out right now, pause it, check it out, or just listen to it later on your free time. Now, here's the problem that I have with this overall ending scene is that not only does it divert from the source material, it is doubling down on the cringy aspects of the magical creatures and what they really are. Now. Like I've said before many times, this movie is gonna be something that's gonna feel like nails on a chalkboard. It's gonna make you really just wanna leave the situation and leave what you're seeing and hearing, and that's actually how bad it is. It's similar to how test screeners walked out of Aquaman 2. It's said to be on that level of bad, if not worse. So look, we know that Disney is in a phase of panic. They're really trying to figure out when to drop this trailer. They have a new trailer company that has been working on the new edit of the trailer for the like past week and a half, two weeks now. We talked about that too. And they are aiming, in case you guys are wondering, they are aiming for a holiday season trailer release. So you can expect it around Thanksgiving or around Christmas time. And I always said this, it's probably not gonna be the latter. You know, I think it's gonna be around Thanksgiving. Uh, because December right closer to Christmas is a little too late if you're releasing this movie in March So November is like the right choice to go. They did this with Star Wars The Force Awakens back I believe it was like what in 2014 So that would be a good choice by Disney to kind of do things a little ahead of time But anyway guys drop a comment below fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this and if you guys did enjoy the content for today make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and i will catch you guys next time <laughs>